If we now look at the function x minus 3 times x squared minus 5x plus 6 times x squared plus 2x plus 20, we find that the x squared minus 5x plus 6 function factors giving us giving us uh, x minus 3 times x minus 2 and when that's put together with everything else we see that x minus 3 appears twice as a factor which means we have x minus 3 squared times x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 20. This is the same irreducible factor we had before. Matter of fact, this is the same function we had before, except we've got a plus in front of the 6. Now, we want to look at what happens near this, the 0 that corresponds to the x minus 3 factors. We have two of them. Is this going to change what happens uh, near the factor? Because in every other case, each linear factor has appeared only once. So, let's think about it. If x is near 3, which is the zero for this, then all this stuff in the bracket here is going to stay near 35. And we get that just by plugging 3 into this, we get 35. If x stays real close to 3, then this will stay real close to 35. In that case, we're going to say that okay, since this stays near 35, x minus 3 squared times all this stuff is going to stay near x minus 3 squared times 35. So near x equals 3, this whole expression up here is going to be close to this because this is close to this. The implications for the graph are as follows. In the first place, this new function we have, 35 times x minus 3 squared, is just a parabola. Now, if the function itself, x minus 3 squared times x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 20, stays close to this parabola, then its graph must look something like this. And the closer we get to x equals 3, the closer the blue graph has to get to the red one. Which means that the blue graph, of course, is going to be 0 at x equals 3, as we can see by putting 3 in for this function, in, in, in for x in this function. Uh, but the graph might look something like this. Now actually in reality I think the graph is kind of shifted over to the left uh, and instead of coming down to the right of the graph and leaving to the right, it comes down to the left of the graph of the red function and leaves to the left. Uh, but that's not overly important right now. The important thing is that as this thing, as this graph comes down and touches x equals 3, it acts more and more like a parabola. And that's the key thing that we want to see.